need mainstream media. We make fun of them. Trump is smart enough to get they're already dead. I mean, they're John Kasich. They're they're Fair. shoveling, Fair. feeding us right now. I mean, is there no end to this I garbage? Mean, like we've been talking about for the past couple of debates, like when Rand Paul broke off, he did his own thing. I am happy to see the candidates, regardless how I feel about their positions, breaking off and doing their own thing and saying that we don't need your mainstream media narrative to get our messages out. We can right. do our Facebook missions. We can uh, rent a, a ballroom and have our own event. And I think that's great. This is like, what a time to be alive. You know, did you ever, I, I know that you always say this, so you truly believed in your lifetime you would see the fall of the establishment. But we are witnessing it right now. I mean, it is happening. And it, uh, it is due to the internet. This is why they want to control it. This is why they want to shut it down. They don't want those alternative voices out there that are taking, stealing the narrative and put, throwing it in their face, doing the live news and analysis. Well, look at you. You're smarter and better looking than Megyn Kelly. I'm not just saying that. You're like 10 times better looking than her and five <laughs> times smarter. And I'm not lying. I mean, look at Jakari. Smarter, quicker, better looking than these. Look at this idiot Kasich up here. Make <laughs> Jakari governor. Jakari I mean, Jackson I know, I'm for serious. president. I know. I mean, he, I mean, I'm serious. I mean, I mean. I would it, vote. You got my vote. Yeah, oh, thank you. I mean, I mean, I'm telling you, they're done. They could only rule in a rigged game. And Trump's right. just the sign that they're screwed. And again, we're over here with the Trump feed right now as soon as that comes up and we have C-SPAN back up. And let's not forget, we've also got David Knight and Joe Biggs, don't we? I, I know we saw them earlier. And that's, okay. and, and you know what's great about that? We got David and them out covering the Oregon standoff, you know, out there. I mean, we're a real news organization that actually wears our bias to telling the truth on our sleeve. Let's play just a little bit of Ben Carson from Fox. We're going to analyze maybe a minute or two of that. Then we're going to go to David Knight for a quick comment. And then as soon as Trump comes out, because let's face it, we're not watching all the, the you know, this is the true kids table uh, at, uh, at uh, Fox News. And they wanted, and then they have the babies table below that. They wanted Trump to come bring his huge audience, a populace there, to try to kill him in front of everybody politically. And Trump's just run over here to blow him out of the water. But let's hear some of what Ben Carson's saying. We need people who think out of the box and can solve problems. Oh, Donald Trump, InfoWars? Resources around them, very smart people, to focus on the problem and solve the problem. No, the special American interests are in there robbing everything because they're already in control, that's Ben. That's why we have this abnormal And they don't want us to have wealth. Because then we get too uppity. Same Let me explain how this works. We need different solutions to solve the problems and to save our nation. The Trump event is starting. And I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm sad that they kind of did their witch hunt with Ben Carson right away and dropped his numbers down because he also is not an. Oh, no, he's a definitely a, definitely a, a, a dark horse as well. Definitely a rogue. That's why they're killing him politically. All right, let's cut off uh, the Hillary Clinton financed uh, network that supports Hillary Clinton. For right now, Donald Trump's coming out. We're going to David Knight later. Let's go to Donald Trump right now. Here is the feed. Donald Trump on stage. Circumstances, and we just take it. We have to stick up for ourselves as people, and we have to stick up for our country when we're being mistreated. Remember that. And, and, and you know, let's put Fox on the other feed. We'll, we'll just show a wide shot of and both I, these, but, but they're, they're a audio off. Further and say that Fox has been extremely nice, and uh, the last uh, number of hours, actually. <laughs> And they've wanted me there, and they said, how about now? They called a few minutes ago, how about now? Can you come over? I said, hasn't it already started? And we actually thought what we'd do is we'd let them start, and, you know, we wanted to be about 15 minutes into that hour, See? so that by now they're mm -hmm. all got to be on, right? all the cameras, like the Academy Awards. This is like the Academy Awards. You got, you guys, Academy got me turned up, right? Yeah, it should be. Pretty good. I, I know this is mystery science. We're actually political science theater, theater 3K. 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 So 3K. So Teleprompter free. It's political and science you know theater 3K. That's yes. really in honor of our vets, but they have been. They've been very nice, and they wanted me to go. Guys, pump the audio in, but let's do wide shot with us in here. With they it. did apologize, and they could not have been. But once this started, it's for our vets. There was nothing I could do. I don't know. Yeah, you he know couldn't what? have backed out know. now. It's like, for the vets. It's three miles <laughs> away. Is he going to, I mean, is he going to drive a car over there? Mid-debate? That would be sensational. I just love seeing those arrogant bastards. Over five million dollars in one heads to the ground. Yeah, five million for the veterans. Because the VA won't take care of them. Right. That is true. That is very Fox true. News is taking tens of millions you know, from those wounded warrior ads. They make them pay for those ads. Really? America yeah. America. Just like the Super Bowl has to and pay you know, for the pro-military stuff. We wouldn't that's all paid for. Here oh, wow. If weren't for our vets. And, our vets and he did say, if you give that money that you're going to make to the to the veterans, I'll come. I'll come. And they, they wouldn't do it. No, they lied when he was first on my show. They said he wanted the money. 
Mm. Right. The news is like, Trump wants the money. So right. once this ball started rolling, we couldn't stop it. And you see the house is packed. And literally, this took place less than 24 hours. We had less than 24 hours. This is just a little bit of the daring so listen, of, of Americana. Debate like George Washington taking on the British. Just a little bit of daring. A little bit of not groveling to the mainstream. You know, the mainstream is like baby something. diapers that are no, used. It's minutes. worthless. It's not things. valuable. Totally honest. Megan right. Kelly is a used and baby and diaper. <laughs> A she wears one on her head. We set up a just set up having some fun, folks. I like Megyn Kelly. Trump for Even though she Donald looks like a tranny. For that All right, I'm sorry. Trump. I'm out of control. And they've raised almost $500,000 just I don't agree with so that. She's too skinny. Like she's not like Marilyn Monroe. She's not feminine like certain women out there. You can't help it. That's just... I don't know. I don't think... She looks like a man. And then we're going to have somebody come up to speak who's an English. Well, tell us how you really feel, Alex. Much more importantly, it's the subject. Well, I'm not into women that look like, you know... Look, I'm not against gay people. Going through, But they run the fashion industry on record, and they like people who look like men. And those supermodels are too skinny. Well, now, there are some pretty skinny supermodels. Can we play some Sir Mix-a-Lot? All right. Hey, I pull up quick and I think, I think we'll get a... <laughs> I think we'll get a... <laughs> Red beans and rice to miss her. Oh, I think we'll get a strike on YouTube if we play Sir Mix a lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be more entertaining than the Fox debate. I agree. I'm, I'm confident of that. I'm a little bad at night. I apologize. <laughs> Donald Trump, another great builder in New York, now a politician. I openly I support Trump now. I a politician. I don't want to be called a politician. Horribly biased. All talk, no action. I refuse to be called a politician. Donald Trump gave one million dollars, okay? Yay! Just, just, just get into the hysteria. Sorry. Give yourself the Fisher over. family. I, I'm, I'm observing it. I'm trying to see, you know, what, what it is about it. I'm joking. There's Darth Sidious. <laughs> so he's kind of reading off the uh, don donation. So we check back into the, with the JV debate or? Unlimited power! Very, very rich man in New York, a very good friend of mine, a very They're good claiming person, and he wants to be a. he just wants unlimited power. Do you, you think that's really what this is all about? The globalists already have unlimited power. No, Bloomberg, trying to throw his hat in the ring, oh, yeah. wants unlimited power. Yeah, okay, well, that's a question, Jakari. Over Bloomberg, would you vote for Trump over Bloomberg? If, if I had to choose one or the other, I would pick Donald Trump, because I have as many issues I have with Donald Trump. I have many more with Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who wants to uh, ban people's sodas and salt and he runs around with armed bodyguards and somebody asked him hey mr bloomberg in the spirit of gun control will you disarm your bodyguards he said hell no i'm not gonna well he didn't oh, say we that but that hecklers? was his mentality i want to know i want to know why fox news isn't more proud of the fact that they have a transsexual as their main host megan kelly it <laughs> what in the world I guess there was a heckler or something going on. I didn't know. You know, I tell the story. But they uh, got trumpeted. Protests. I think that's I love protests. protests. Let's hear this. Because, you know, here, this is a beautiful place, but we have thousands of people outside that weren't as good as real estate in real estate as you folks, I will tell you. But we have thousands of people outside trying to get in. We set up cameras. We set up screens. We have everything. But I will tell, I'll you, tell you, watching Fox you last that, few days, going, he's destroyed. It's over. They're all the freaked out looking. Because they're narcissists that need the populism. My face. Hmm? I mean, they're, they're I nobodies. Wife, look, Trump just shows what straight talk does. She I've always said, Jakari, I'm not that good. I'm not that smart. Just be real. That's all they want. I mean, how many times have I said that? Yeah, you said just all be yourself time. and just try to just lay it all out there. Yeah, and you have said that. And do I micromanage what you guys cover into? They can never let me like the other people. I don't know to say I want to cover this or cover that, but I mean, I know you're patriots. I know you're smart. I looked at your work. And I just turn you loose. Do I not do that? Were there many yeah. People that's, that's do you know how micromanaged it is to work even a local news station? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've worked at local news. I know you have, and so that's why. I, and, and so have you in, in, in TV and in, in entertainment. I mean, and, and entertainment is still micromanaged on its back. Yeah. Much bigger than freedom. Although I have to say, he's second. He is second. I'm not bragging about us. I just want people to know that, that you know, these horrible jokes were written by me in live time. I apologize for them. This is live and real. Yeah, there's no teleprompter in here. The camera. <laughs> And I always say, you know, I figured maybe they're fixed. These are new cameras yeah. they can't turn. The well, should we go to David and Joe out in Oregon? Because 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 Donald Trump's, Trump's on right now. But I understand that. Let, let's kind of leave him on in the background a little bit. Uh, we have a free feed of him at Infowars.com of it all happening. But let's go a quick comment from David Knight uh, and of course uh, Joe Biggs. So we have a rich man. Hey, Alex, uh, David Knight here in Oregon for, uh, with Joe Biggs. Am I the first one to use the term Reagan tonight? Because you know the last person who skipped a debate just before the Iowa caucus was Ronald Reagan. He went on to win it by landslide, as many people pointed out.
unbelievable. Absolutely. And just stay live on the feed with us, guys. Comment anytime you want. Jump in, Joe Biggs. And talent. And he's well, quite frankly, I think that uh, Trump's little escapade is uh, not good. I think he's exploiting veterans. Uh, I, I quite frankly don't like what he's doing. Um, I personally think Rand Paul is about the only choice out there for a true, honest person who knows what the hell's going on. Um, he has a lot of neat things to say, Donald Trump. But I mean, saying, hey, veterans need help or, hey, we've got a problem with veterans doesn't quite make me feel at ease as a veteran to think that you can take over the country and uh, fix the problems that the other guys have already screwed up thus far. Well, Joe, I agree with you probably on 90 percent of stuff. But on this, I, I, I don't really disagree. But but he's actually giving money that people are raising and he's giving money to. The well, no, no. Well, there's a lot of people out there that need help veterans. Why don't he just give money to that? I mean, there's also there's a lot of uh, veteran programs out there that have been uh, known to skim money and do a lot of fraudulent stuff. That's why I personally am very careful about who I do give money to. If I do want to help veterans out, I'm going to personally give to a group of veterans, not to a, a front who says they're doing it. Because nine times out of ten, that money's not going to make it to those guys. Yeah, well, he, here's what I'm saying about the situation. We, they're, they're persecuting at the VA under Obama and the globalists, the veterans, who Obama declared the number one enemy. So all I'm saying is Obama says the number one enemy is returning veterans. He's trying to take their guns. And then Trump is at least saying, put attention on it. I don't think he deserves to, you know, basically say he's exploiting veterans. Well, also, um, too, I, I, personally, I think... If he does go ahead, Joe. Go ahead, and make your point. Go, go ahead, and make your point. Uh, I said I personally think he is, but is also as well though too. He wants to. He doesn't want states to have uh, to own the land. He wants that to be federally done. So this guy kind of goes against a lot of the things that a lot of us sure. believe in. Sure. And he's inviting some people out. I want to see who these people are real quick. We're gonna come right back to you. you know, it's, it's fair points to make. I Never had anything. It's like everything he touches turns to gold. Whatever deal he goes into, he bought a piece of land in Las Vegas, spent $110 million. He sold it a few years later and made plenty of money in between for $1.3 billion, right? Just about $1.3. I think he says more. Who is this Every guy? Every single day. So when he gives a million, it's Probably like, you know what, that says 10 cents. But for him, very important. Phil Ruffin, just say a couple of words. Yeah. He's going to be on... Uh, Thank you. I'd like to introduce my wife, Alexandra. I'm sure this guy's nice, but he looks like a James Bond. Oh, she, uh, wow, he's doing all right. That's Donald and I have been friends for some 18 years and business years. partners. And about uh, well, yeah. two years ago. Right, we're going to go back to our guys and back to the Fox I thing for a minute. A but people are going to love this just because it's real oh. compared to other stuff. But Biggs, seriously, I'm not trying to get in an argument and a fight with you. Oh, Compared to Obama and the neocons trying to start all these wars, Trump doesn't want us uh, in, in Syria. He, uh, you know, he's, I mean, just compared to them, I think Rand Paul's better on, on foreign policy than Trump. I but, but I mean, I agree with you there, but I mean, I just, I mean, just hearing like Trump and this whole thing, veterans, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he already told Fox and CNN, yeah, I'll come to your debates if you give money to the veterans. So I really think what he's doing is legitimate overall. I mean, I, I think he's got money that he can actually do something, go out and actually give veterans things, go to a VA, go to a hospital where there's people out there in wheelchairs who aren't being he should seen. do that he should actually that's a great idea for trump i'm gonna tell his campaign he should go how about this though i mean in comparison to Rand paul and trump Rand uh Rand paul i think wins all around uh, honest i mean obviously you know donald trump's gonna win the uh, popularity vote because he's a you know reality tv show guy he's got some hotels you know and, and that's an appealing thing because he goes against the grain and i like the fact that he says stuff that pisses people off every day I love that about him, but there's still some issues there with him that quite make me, I, I just, I'm not convinced. Um, I'm going to ask you this. Is he, is he, is he better than Hillary uh, or, or, or Jeb Bush? Oh, of course. I mean, so is Dan Bilzerian and like some homeless guy that I just saw on the sidewalk. Okay, Dan Bilzerian for, uh, you know, I've never looked at any of the girls with bikinis there on Facebook. Okay, all right, we're going to go back to you in a minute. I want to go back to Trump here, and we're going to all be chiming in over this. Let's go back to what Trump's talking about. I don't feel good about turning down money because my whole life I've been greedy, greedy, greedy. I've grabbed all the money I could get. I'm so greedy. <laughs> but greedy, I greedy, greedy, greedy. For the United States. I That's going to be a meme. We've got to have a president. This greedy, greedy, greedy. I, I do respect the man's honesty, even if I don't agree with everything he says. I, I expect it's he true. just... Can someone please doesn't. turn that into a, a gift right now? Greedy, greedy, greedy. The most incredible people in this country.
country, <laughs> in Iowa, but in this country, it's like a movement going on the cover of Time.